Acceptance plays a big role in our lives as we line up our needs and our preferences. Self-acceptance is a huge key to our personal happiness. What follows is my own story. Now, we have a word or words from William Shakespeare. There is nothing good or bad. It is our thinking that makes it so. Sorry, sorry. So it says, sorry. I think I have it now. I think I have it. Do I go now? I will just go now. All right, all right. Here I go. Here I go. Here I go. There is nothing good or bad. It is our thinking that makes it so. There is nothing good or bad. Good or bad. It is our thinking that makes it that makes it so. There is nothing good or bad. It is our thinking. No shit. No shit. You guys are messing again. Born, missing four fingers on his left hand. There is basically a thumb there. He spent a lot of time hiding his hand. He thought that if anyone knew about it, they wouldn't like him. You know about his hand, don't you? And with that hand? I don't know. I would never go out with him. He has that hand thing. Are you kidding? Not me. Not with the way he looks. He looks ridiculous. He thought that a false version of himself would be better. This was another mistake. I hid my hand from practically everyone, and I was very, very good at it. But what I'm really saying is that I was very good at not being myself. I ended up in the mental health system due to the antics related to this idea. I was placed in the mental hospital. Really, all due to thinking it was not good enough to be me. There is basically a thumb there. There is nothing good or bad. It is our thinking that makes it so. And, at one point, I believed that healing would come in the form of growing fingers in some way. I thought that healing would be in, in making me look like everyone else. Once again, I was incorrect. Healing is accepting yourself as you are. It really doesn't happen any other way. What one has in common with others is the fact that everyone has something they would rather not have and are hence dealing with. People learn their life lessons in dealing with its acceptance. There was a change in my attitude. Instead of thinking I would benefit from being something or someone else, I realized that the best that I could be is to be myself. But that then just opens the door. Yep, that just opens the door. After much soul searching, I next realized that it is important to find out what all this means. I mean, it doesn't mean that you suddenly do whatever you want to do and forget everyone else. It becomes a journey of self-discovery, 
and covering what it is that it all means. There is nothing good or bad. It is something that makes that. There is nothing good or bad. It is something that makes that. There is nothing good or bad. It is something that makes that. There is nothing good or bad. It is something that makes that. And you are able to watch yourself unravel as we relate to one another, sloughing off those unnecessary things we all seem to carry to hide from being ourselves. I remember hiding my hand from a blind man. I learned a valuable lesson from all of this. What I once saw as a great curse is now a great blessing, and acceptance is the key. There is nothing good or bad. It is something that makes that make it. There is nothing good or bad. It is something that makes that make it. There is nothing good or bad. It is our thinking that makes it so. I believe that mental hospitals are filled with people who have not yet accepted themselves. They are filled with people who think that if you really got to know them, or if you even really care to get to know them at all, we're very, very disappointed in the findings, and 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 they feel they have no value and no self worth. They are mistakes in some way. This misconception and ignorance has been handed down through the generations since time began. It's all part of the stigma. Remember that a very important thing about self-acceptance is you never accept yourself as you think you are supposed to be, but you accept yourself as you are, faults and all, our so-called faults and all, because that will get you there far sooner. If you wait to accept yourself when you're perfect, you may just find yourself waiting. You may just find yourself waiting forever. Thanks. Well, I assured myself I believe it can be done. One has to, has to understand what acceptance is, what a self-acceptance is, and one has to definitely apply it to make it work. There is nothing good or bad. It is something that makes that make it. There is nothing good or bad. It is something that makes that make it. There is nothing good or bad. It is something that makes that make it.
You finally realize what is, is, and you accept yourself. Healing is accepting yourself as you are. It really doesn't happen any other way.